this video, we're going to talk about the X guard entry when somebody starts posting on the knee. This is also something I deal with a lot because everybody here knows that I want to do the knee buckle into the X guard entry. And so Kevin's going to be a bit of a cunt here. And he's going to be framing my knee so I'm unable to extend my leg out. As I create this knee buckle, and as I try and buckle his knee here, maybe he hasn't even dropped down that much. Like Kevin's pretty good with his base. And so then he's also posting here at the knee, but also like the shin a bit. So for me to try and extend out to the, the X guard, I can't move my foot to his hip because he's posting here. What I'm gonna to look to do is actually go more underneath him first, almost like I'm starting to move towards like a waiter sweep so I can recede with my knee. So as I go here, I'm gonna bring him up, bring my knee underneath to take away where he was framing so that now I can move into X guards. Let's just back up a little bit and go over this. This is a more complicated procedure but we're dealing with higher and higher level responses. So here, Kevin doesn't even fall over. He keeps his hands up and he frame into the leg here, so I can't move. I'm gonna bring my leg underneath his knee. And I'm gonna try and keep this arm framing over to his knee as much as possible to keep his weight here. Because if I just go here, Kevin's gonna just put his foot on the mat. And it's not the end of the world, but it's gonna be a little more difficult for me once this leg becomes load bearing. If I could frame, at least over here, now when Kevin drives into me, it's a little bit more difficult. What I'm gonna to look to do is load him up on top of me. Right now, his hand is posted to the inside of my leg still, more at my knee, so you can see how I can't move it. But as I withdraw and I bring my knee to the other side of his leg, there's nothing left for him to post onto, and I can angle my foot towards his hip. So watch this, here, I bring himself up, I almost start to invert up onto my shoulder blades, and now my knee starts to withdraw here, and you can see how my foot starts to move towards like his armpit more, and I'm able to move into X guard on this side. His foot will naturally be posting more on the uh, mat at this point, but I'm controlling the inside space. With me getting the foot to the hip, I'm gonna be able to extend him out and start creating my kazushis from X guard into my actual sweep attempts. Here he's posting. Here I can even post down more at the ankle. Here I'm inverting up. You can see how he can't really, if he's pushing on my knee still, it just slides off and his foot becomes clear to move to here. And now I have to extend myself out to make sure that I got that foot off the mat the best I can and that I have proper leg control. And then, so I'm grabbing here right on the kneecap and I'm pushing here at the near hip. I'm trying to get multiple angles on this one. Here he's posting. Invert as much as you need to because now with this hip mobility, watch how I can adjust my hip angle and pull the knee in. Slide by his arm. And we can do that in quite a smooth motion. Because we don't want to hang out there for very long. As I'm here, sliding in. Very effective. It's a little bit more, uh, a little bit more finesse to it than the other techniques. But it's what starts to tie into the other stuff. Because like as people start to kneel down on us, we're going to look to almost go to waiter sweep variations of like deep half, because they're very closely connected. Which is what we're going to talk about later in the instructional. But it's not uncommon that when people know what your attack is, they're gonna shut down that knee buckle and they're gonna be ready for blocking your leg to get from you being easily able to move it over to their hip. And so this is a great way for us to change the hip angle and still get the X guard.